take a look at this. Vince is going to have to be a quick segment. I apologize. Sure. Two teams ranked in the top 15 in both baseball and softball. A lot of teams have that. Only one team has two teams in the top three. Tennessee, number one in baseball. They just beat, swept South Carolina. Kentucky lost to Vandy yesterday. Kudos to Vanderbilt for doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. So Tennessee wins the SEC title. They're going to be the number one seed down in uh, Hoover at the SEC tournament. Softball team, well, they're waiting it out today to uh, find out who they're playing in the championship round of their own regional. Uh, they won yesterday, run-ruled Virginia, as they say. Tennessee, number one in baseball, number three in softball. Vince, do they have, and this is kind of a crazy thing to throw out there. I know it's not, it's tough to analyze this, but mm -hmm. are they best positioned to win two national titles this year among all those schools? Are they in the best shape? I do think so. It was interesting looking into it because not only the seedings that you go by besides the RPI, you look at the seedings for softball in the actual NCAA tournament and some of the projections for baseball, it's very similar. And I was surprised that there was the, that many like crossed over, like like your point yeah, is. Too. But in softball, it's so dominated by the power schools. Oklahoma, I think, has won five of the last seven national yeah. championships. So you kind of eliminate a lot of those just based on that. I would put Tennessee in that category. Uh, and so, yeah, Tennessee, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, I don't think, is as big of a threat on the baseball side. Mm -hmm. And Tennessee is the number one team. Whether they're the number one overall seed or not, I do think you combine the two, and I do think Tennessee is in the best position. Doing it obviously is different, but I do think they're in the best position. Which says a lot for just how the UT athletic department is rolling right, right. now. I mean, it, the, there just aren't many sports that aren't thriving at the moment. First time in the SEC that a school has won the basketball, men's basketball, baseball, and softball regular season championships. That's the University of Tennessee. Who goes farther? And uh, uh, Well, you're the ten you do – you do the broadcast of the baseball team. Yeah. But here's the thing. Baseball doesn't have a dynasty they're going to have to get through like Tennessee's going to have to get through Oklahoma. I right. mean, as you said, they've won so many. I would right. say baseball has a bigger shot, better shot than softball, simply for that reason, that Oklahoma's hanging out there. Am I, I right or am I, I wrong? I do think so, and I think this year's Tennessee team is battle-tested. So uh, because it's been different, even though they have the home run ability, they've won in different ways. and they've, uh, It's not like the Notre Dame – Super regional a couple of years ago where they were just dominating everyone. And then it was, oh, what do we do now? I think it's a little bit different and tougher type of team. Uh, so I, I would say yes. But the biggest thing is what you said is Oklahoma because yeah. they're not the number one seed. Texas number is. Two. That yeah. tells you how good those two are. Oh, by the way, coming into the SEC. But I think that's such a big hurdle, I would say, baseball. Yeah, Tennessee with their highest seed ever, number three. And what is Florida number four? So the top four seeds nationally yeah. are all from the SEC. And they're tough to deal with a lot of times in the postseason, too. This segment brought to you by Games and Things, bar stools, bar stools, bar stools. No one in East Tennessee carries more brands of kitchen and bar stools than Games and Things. They're the ones that we use on this site, on this set. When we moved to Channel 6 back in 2006, uh, we bought, or I bought, the stools from, actually, I charged Vince. Uh, but I, I, I make these guys pay me rent. But I bought them at Games and Things, and we're still using the same stools. They're fantastic. They're comfortable, which not all kitchen and bar stools are, and that's the beauty of Games and Things. You can sit in about 100 and find the right one that's right for your rump. G Games and Things, because life should be fun. Get down there. If you've got a need for kitchen stools, bar stools, they got them.